I don't know if humans have suddenly become too damn sensitive about the most ludicrous things, or if we were always this way inclined, but suddenly with the dawn of technology, our oversensitive natures are being reflected and made evident. It blows my mind how the world is so full of so many things we ought to be concerned about, but instead we choose to feel the most irrational anger over minor issues. So I watched a video recently of a young woman doing a food taste test. She was eating some Nigerian cuisine, fufu and agusi, which I personally know is very popular amongst Nigerians. Specifically because when you grow up eating certain foods, it's not unusual to enjoy and appreciate said food. Same with a child being born into a family that does not eat meat. Said child would be used to the taste and texture of all things meat-free and therefore might be repulsed by the taste and texture of meat. We are products of our environment and upbringing for the most part. What struck me and blew my mind was the fact that there was outrage over this woman not enjoying this food and looking grossed out by eating it. The idea that an individual is chastised or cancelled, as this generation is so fond of doing, is very shocking to me. People are no longer allowed to not like something without those who like said thing feeling slighted and taking offence, bringing out their pitchforks ready to burn her at the stake because she didn't like your country's cuisine. I am Nigerian and I despise fufu. I hate the taste. I hate the texture. It just doesn't do it for me. You're supposed to swallow it, I think. I guess I deserve to be cancelled because, heaven forbid, a person dislikes something that others love. Hmm. Seriously, who the heck told humans they have the power to cancel another human anyway? As though we are words typed up on a screen that you can just delete and forget about forever. So I also read an article about a fitness magazine that got called out for giving people tips on how to get rid of any excess weight gained over the holiday period from overindulging, as we all do. While I understand that people shouldn't feel guilty for eating as it encourages unhealthy relationships with food, I think a fitness magazine is well within their rights to talk about subjects to which their entire existence revolves. How do you get upset with a health and fitness related publication for giving advice about health and fitness? Stop it. Get some help. If I'm not mistaken, the magazine was not chastising anyone for doing what we probably all did over the holiday period, but rather encouraging you to get back on the health bandwagon with tips to help you alleviate the guilt you feel which you shouldn't, for overeating. If health and fitness doesn't interest you, then why read any health and fitness related content and then try to cancel the ones giving tips and information to help you? It is okay to not like something. It is not okay to make it an issue and justify your uproar by calling them out and trying to cancel them for sticking to health and fitness related topics. Isn't that just a bit much? You know, do a little less. We are so obsessed with self, how I feel, how irritating what he or she said is to me, how offended I am by their words and feelings, their existence. So I'll rant and rave instead of ignoring things that in the grand scheme actually do not impact me in any major or hurtful way. We want people to pander to our every mood swing, whim, feeling, and when anyone dares to not feel as you do or share the same opinion as you, cancel, cancel, cancel. I mean, surely that is a bit much, unless of course you are perfection itself. Someone hurts your feelings or rubs you the wrong way with a word, a sentence, a feeling. An action that is harmless and you make it the worst thing ever? Do you deserve to be cancelled? Society is beginning to accept this behaviour. 
are we becoming childlike in our adulthood? Throwing our toys all over the place to show our outrage because mum said no and we think she should have said yes? What is actually going on? I am not dismissing the things that actually are valid reasons for uproar. I am not dismissing things that genuinely affect and impact people's lives so greatly that they have a right to be upset and to shout from the rooftops. Why have we become a society focused on making the things that don't matter, matter, while ignoring the things that do for the most part because they don't affect us? I urge you to think about what it is you are getting so upset about. Is it going to matter in a few hours? weeks? Is it going to impact your life in a negative? Does it hurt anything besides your feelings momentarily? Is it really worth the uproar? Think about it. Thanks again guys for tuning in, for watching. Please like, please leave a comment, please subscribe and most importantly please come back.